Last time on our boat story, we left the marina near Lock 26 at Lakefield after getting some supplies and went through Lock 27 at Young's Point. Today, the Great Loop continues on the Trent Severn Waterway from Lock 27 at Young's Point via Devil's Elbow and Hell's Gate to Lock 28 at Burley Falls. Aloha, we are Sava, Cynthia and Alex along with our two dogs, Lucy and Shadow. We're traveling America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile North American waterway from Florida to Canada and back down via the Mississippi. Follow us on this journey on our boat called Mahalo. There's something in the water there. I think it's like a swimming platform or mat. Another big boat coming. And we have another big boat coming and this whole area is narrow. We're going to be passing other boats in this narrow channel. So surprised that the big section is too shallow for us. But this is where they're telling us to go. So pretty though. This part of the loop has just every day is something to look at between the interesting lock, but just scenic. I can see why people want to spend a summer up here. Yeah, you could spend the whole summer up here. Especially if you had a little pontoon boat, you could just putter around between the islands that you wanted to see, because it would be shallow enough, you could dock at the little marinas that have ice cream and little restaurants to tie up to, and just pleasant. So over here, look at this little house nestled in there. Now, I'm interestingly enough, I don't see solar panels. I would think that if you're on these little rocky outcrop, you'd like a solar panel. Or two. Or two. <laughs> <laughs> We're just True. Big power consumption people. Well, know, I guess, because we like our telly. And, and we like, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm doing better with pegging out the laundry, but still, I'm just surprised. And there's enough sun here that you could smack up quite a few. We have a very nice big boat oncoming. Check that out. There's a lot of people over there, Alex. There's a church right next to the water and all the people are just getting out. This is a Sunday and so it looks like the church folk are out by the water's edge. Fisherman in there. Oh, somebody's water skiing way over there and that around those islands. What an interesting view. It's like a test track here. Yeah. It's like a test track. See the red and the green? So here's the red marker here. Like a the green. They make you do a test. <laughs> We're to go through. 
we're threading ourselves between all these little markers. And look at the beautiful little rock formations. Lots of yeah, little islands. The distance right there on the side. Yes. Here comes another boat coming through. Now, of course, the fisher boats. The fisher boats don't so have to. These markers are for us that have, you know, more down deeper in the water. But these smaller fishing craft, they don't have to stay in this channel. They can go over anywhere they want. And it's just so pretty. Look at that rock outcrop and house. Just so this is gorgeous. Gate. Really? Hell's this is gate. called Hell's Gate? Hell's Gate is the area. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, for reasons that might be explained with all these markers, yes. So this and, is uh, where we just came. You Hell's can see the gate. markers. You can see the 10 miles an hour. Look at Ow. that beautiful bridge over there that goes between a rocky outcrop. Here's a fishing boat turning around. Somebody has several sailboats next to that boathouse over there. And I think that is just their boathouse because you can have boats go in underneath, boats parked in front, and then there's a bigger house up on the top with lots of screen porches. It almost looks like it's a retreat area, doesn't it? Because it's almost such a big house, it's more than just one group would need. In the back, they have a whole bunch of kayaks. So lots of entertaining to be able to be done here. But look at these islands. Everywhere you look, somebody has a giant Canadian flag. We have a small craft oncoming. But just look at these islands. Everywhere you look is beautiful little homes sprinkled around. In the distance, you can see a houseboat is actually pulled up to that island there in the middle. And a large two-story house is on the edge of that island. But this is so cool. This is what I think people want to see on the loop. We're coming up to a group of people. Cute kiddos. Yes. Over here. No, yeah, the there red. too, but you know, almost everywhere you look, see. I'm, everywhere I'm, I'm you look is Adrian Dak chairs looking cozy. Look at the white ones over there, yeah, they've stuck. Just... And here's some people got their lawn chair right here by the water. Oh, and a dog swimming in the water. Baba, there's a doggy swimming. The doggy is so happy in the water. Lucy, Lucy, there's a doggy. She can't see anything because she jumped down. The dog has something in its mouth. Swimming up there. Oh, two dogs. There's a, a yellow dog on the um, beach. The yellow dog doesn't want to do the swimming. So these homes here, you can see both have a boathouse where they can pull their boat in. I'm sure when the weather gets cold, they're glad to have the boat covered for the season. Everywhere you look, there's like little Adriandak chairs, homes. Look at this. So cute. There comes a pontoon boat. So Zava, tell us again, when you see a post that's red and green, it's letting you know that you are entering? Yeah, Trans-Severn. It's part of the Trans-Severn. It's trying to let you know that this is more than just a regular marker. It's letting you know that you are... Yeah. To get to the next lock. Look at that little greenhouse now there. We see solar panels finally, don't we, Zog? Yeah, on top yeah. of their roof. There's two on this side. I think there's two on the other side as well. So that would give them four. But like, we just haven't seen very many people have solar panels, which we're shocked. But I see two more. Zog, they've made use of both of their sun reception to do it on either side of the, of the peak of the roof. So they have four there. Cool, right? I need to go down and get Alex because he's down probably gaming. <laughs> Our son is missing all of it. This Hell's Gate was so... 13 years ago, I think, right? 18. 18 years ago, yeah. Yes. Kids never knew they were on the Erie Canal. Yeah, they're busy they're gaming the in the salon instead of... There's a nice pontoon boat coming up, and another one. 
this little blue boathouse. Doesn't that look like something right out of a postcard? When it's I was, BG on that round house. I was, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. When I was a kid, oh, look at this pontoon boat coming right across the back of us. Oh, it's going to join us. the lock it'll be interesting because if we have too many pontoon boats pass us we're not going to be we are not going to be able to go into this first lock because we're going to be behind everybody we have another pontoon boat coming up pretty quick behind us they'll want to go around us because we're slower but we're enjoying all the sights if we have to wait we have to wait just gorgeous Oh, you gotta, we I gotta hug that island. So somebody has marked this out where the deepest part is. So even though it looks like you should go to this wide section, you can see the green marker here that we have to make sure we stay within these little coves and it weaves around through. So I was able to go down and get Alex now because he wants to see this as well, our first mate. And boy, did we enjoy the ice cream we had last night, Alex. The Kowartha ice cream, I think is how you say it. Yeah. What flavors did you get last night? Uh, last night I got the s'mores and I forgot the other Moose flavor. track? Moose track, yes. Excellent. Daddy had the salted caramel truffle, which he had had his eye on at a previous stop, but ended up getting the chocolate like the peanut, peanut butter. butter. Chocolate was better. Yeah, you like that one better? He had praline pecan and salted caramel truffle. And oh, I had sharp right turn here. Bordeaux cherry and coconut. So look at the turn here. So he's got two triangles. One has an orange in it and the other one's just white. And so then there's the green marker. So we're following. This is too tight for the autopilot to make this turn. So I'm going to do it myself. So Zava's driving manually now. I don't like to drive the boat myself. He really does. Pilot. He does enjoy his autopilot very much. But look at this nice winding around. So you have this nice wide area over here. And we're staying in this narrow channel. Just very pleasant. So we're following this pontoon boat. Interestingly enough, the other pontoon boat either veered off and went somewhere else. But we're quite far back behind. So this person there, Alex, is that a pedal boat? What, this older cabin here with the long windows? Is that what you were looking at? Yeah. Just how interesting. I mean, now somebody dropped, the island. somebody dropped a skylight in there. It's definitely an older house, but then they've added a skylight. The garage door. Some of these houses, when you look at the roof or the chimneys, you can tell that these have been here a long time. Then other ones are more modern. I see a sailboat, I think. Straight up ahead, I see a white sail. So the boat that's over here to my, like at 11 o'clock, is this a paddleboat? Is it pedaling? Or is it, is it actually... I thought maybe he was pedaling. Yeah. The house is all windows. <laughs> yeah, with one tree right up the middle of it. Right in the middle of it. Would you I not think cut that tree off? I would have cut the tree. I could keep one house right on that island. Right, you see it? 
just on the rock there. If that one tree happened to have a storm and crashed a roof, Zog would have had that cut down post haste. They didn't cut it down. They let it be right there. They must have been in love with that tree. We cannot share. We cannot share our story from the Dominican, but the Dominicans are very careful how they have trees that are very protected. They know how to get around that. So let's just leave it at that. Those of you that are living in the Caribbean, you know something about this that they understand about protected trees, and if they need to remove it, they work around that. shallow enough they can go wherever they want. Oh, we're going right? So we are going where that... Oh. Uh, not where the pontoon is, but past that. We're going to be turning up there. Yeah. seen slides come down that people have for their children to slide and then jump off the dock. Is that one under construction, Alex? Can you see? The one that looks like yeah, a I, box. I was saying Ikea house or under construction. Come somebody. He is boat licensed and certified and does a great job. Mm -hmm. And it's on autopilot, but Alex is ready to take control in, in case we need to change position or turn. Look at the sailboat over here. They're making good progress because it is breezy today. So Alex, I'm looking at that box-like house over there. Is it under construction or is it actually one of those modulars that they've just plunked down there That's and like it's done? Modular. So you think it's done? Lots of windows. On the side, is that actually a boat lift on the side of it? Yep. That they've lifted their boat up on, like a boat elevator? Yep. Or is it a uh, patio? Maybe it's a patio. Almost looks like chairs and... So here's a question, Alex. Was that house actually moved here on water? That almost looks yep. like that you could have floated that house here, doesn't it? I would love to know more about that. Young girl driving her boat. So I am fascinated by this square house that Alex and I think might have. Doesn't it almost look like they nested it in there? Probably that's just a, a misnomer. It's all windows, except toward the back. What an interesting house. Very modern. Then there's a smaller house up on the hill, but it looks like they park above and then walk down between the rocks. And somebody has constructed this box of a house. There's a small bay. Here's somebody who has a boat garage. 
almost looks like it's a house above the garage, doesn't it? It almost looks like maybe like bedrooms or something up above. Now maybe not because there's an even bigger house right there up on the hill. So that may just be a guest house. It's certainly been here a long time. Look how old the roof is. The roof has been repaired, but boy, it's an older house and older boat house. So here, if you lived in one of these homes, you really want, they just came through what looks like, there's rapids over there, Alex. Look at that, that's rapids. And I guess the boats just go in there nearby and just take pictures, but look at the little waterfalls. Oh, it looks like kids are climbing up on the rocks and jumping into that. Look at that. Yep. Wow. Wow. Gorgeous homes. Old homes, little homes, little tiny marina. Somebody's in a canoe. I haven't seen very many canoes. I've seen kayaks. This area over here, somebody has actually put out some floaters, I guess, to try to keep people from going in that section. It's shallow, but if you had a pontoon boat, no problem. Look at this home. Very pleasant with a little garage. This one has that ramp again. They have pulled their boat up into that garage. And Zava sees a playground. Look at this little home. This is an older home here. Look at the chimney. You can tell this is an older home. Somebody's had this here on the island for a long time. All right, so this is a really, really tall lock. Look at the new steel doors. We haven't seen new steel doors for a while. Nice slimy lock. Here's Cynthia holding on for dear life with Hanu. <laughs> well, Hanu doesn't do anything. Hanu thinks she's doing things, but Hanu's not doing anything. All right, I've got to grab a line probably here with Alex. Alex, what's the, what's the story? Well, it's holding on. Okay, is it rising? Yeah. Okay. The bottom of the lock. Okay. So we just passed lock uh, 28 and we just found out there is no 29. So if you look for it like me on the charts, you're gonna be very disappointed and look forever. The next lock is actually lock number 30 and that's only uh, two miles away or three miles away, something like that. Uh, it looks like two, 1.7. We'll be there in just a few minutes. Then we're gonna go to lock 31 and we're gonna stop for Chinese food because that's what they're having here as well. The lock masters, this must be a very, very good Chinese food. Mahalo for watching. We love all your questions and comments. Do us a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel. Please share it with others so they can discover this great loop journey. Aloha and we'll see you again next time as we continue on the Trans Severn Waterway.